Okay, first, uh, make sure you never aggro the mobs first. Wait for the guards, your guard to aggro them, and then you start hitting. Now, it's important that you use the fourth skill on the um, big one, so you one shot it. Also, the when you are having arranged mobs, try to go close to them so you can hit them with the third spell. And as I said, just let the ads uh, aggro them. Uh, not first. Then please. Uh, once a key mob dies, it spawn. It can spawn those uh, circle thingies. You can either use them manually, or when you walk over them, they heal you. One shot on the mo big mob again. When you're hitting the second skill, try to take it on target more middle mobs so you hit more mobs at the same time. Okay, when you have that situation with two big boss type mobs in the middle that has a lot of HP uh, be careful how you approach them uh, when you want to use the third spell just go close to them use it and go back otherwise they are doing a lot of AOE damage you will be taking uh, heavy damage and since you are slow anyway um, maybe just don't use the when you have it like that I mean the three mob bosses are together for example sorry about that um, just make the um, skills on the big one, I mean the second doorway and the fourth single target since you need to kill them anyway and the second skill will be hit on the smaller boss as well. Try to equalize the HP approximately so you don't end up hitting only one with the OA. Again let the NPC aggro them and hit the middle cannon. In this case, the two sides are not aggroed yet, so don't go close to them, otherwise you will aggro them and you will take more damage than you needed. For example, the cannons are aggroed now. The fifth skill is here, so just use it when you need it, because it has very long cooldown. This means don't use it when you are almost there, but when you have lost 20k HP. Make sure you clean the mobs so the guards focus on the objectives. Make sure you use the fourth skill from the very beginning and then on cooldown because uh, you will need it to be ready um, by the time the gate goes down. So you have time to use it only twice on the door. Once the door is down, target the eye in the middle and use the fourth skill before it uses the skill. The alert skill. You can move away so the boss pulls the guards without you, but it's not really an issue if you get pulled. The reason we killed the eye is that those mobs will go now and it will go closer to the middle, so it will be easier for you to be using eye on them. Otherwise, if it uses the alert, they will start moving from the two sides in the very beginning, so they will be much more split. Once the uh, you have um, alert on the window for yellow or blue thingy, you can use the artifacts for the, um, that cover and destroy the bomb thing. Uh, it spawns a healing sphere for 5k HP, you can use it. Uh, manually or uh, walk over it and it will you automatically. So just repeat that with the blue and the yellow uh, up until the end. 
once again go back and forth for the third kill because the boss uses um, always that are damaging you if you stay near. If you take a few of them, it's not really an issue, but yeah, don't take that too much. Once the first boss dies, um, second one spawns. This one makes uh, the same things uh, with, with extra skill, which is uh, he spawns like uh, what to say, like uh, bombs on the ground. Uh, not bombs, but aliens that explode when he casts a spell. As you see, I'm not trying to be super careful, but. These are the areas that I'm talking about. Better let those bombs explode into you if you're late than running into the areas to explode. 